Who knew it would be this hot today, dude? I did not think it was going to be this hot. Okay, so the other day I posted this photo onto my social medias, my Instagram and Twitter, and a lot of people were saying that it reminded them of Treasure Planet. I haven't seen that movie in literally years. And the last time I watched it, I was like four or five, something like that. I was super young. I didn't even remember what the movie was. I thought they were talking about National Treasure, something like that, some different movie, like a totally different movie. I just didn't know what everyone was talking about. So I looked up the portal scene on what they're mentioning. And then it just totally clicked on what movie it was and all that stuff once I saw it. So after seeing that scene, it's made me want to go out and do it again, try to find a different location and take a different photo or maybe two or three different locations to take different photos and see which one I want to do for the edit. But that's what we're going to go do today. We're going to go out, try to find a good location and shoot a photo for the edit I want to do. And then we're going to come back, edit this photo and all that stuff. So without further ado, let's just go somewhere and try to find some place that would work for this photo and make an edit out of it. So let's go do it. Okay, so right now I'm on this one trail that I come to a little every now and then. I haven't been here in a minute, but I think there may be something that I could use on this trail, hopefully. Hopefully there's like a flat spot somewhere. If not, there'd be like some other spot that I could go to, hopefully on this trail that's not so far out. So a spot I'm looking for right now is a spot that has like sunlight beaming into this one little area and then the rest is all shadowy and stuff. So hopefully I could find something like that. Don't really know how it's gonna turn out, but let's just hope for the best and hopefully I could get a good shot. Okay, so I think I found a good spot. This spot right here, straight ahead. I think I'm gonna have like the triangle be like right here. But I'm gonna get a couple other shots other than that one while I'm here and see what else I could do to get a good shot for that. But so far this is the best location that I could use and find. But I'm sure there might be a couple more. I'm gonna go ahead and capture this photo right here and see if I could do anything with that. I would like to find something that's like flat, like an open land for the photo, but I think having stuff around it will make it a lot better and more interesting of a shot instead of having it be an open area. So, but so far that one shot I just took was the best one so far, obviously, but I just started. So hopefully there's other few spots that are kind of similar to that, that have like a little bit of an opening where it's kind of like directing you straight to it. I haven't done this in a long time. I haven't came out here and hiked or anything like that in a while because of quarantine and all that. But, um, and I forgot how tiring it really is when you're vlogging and walking around, going up slopes and all that stuff. So this is a pain to do, but whatever. As long as I'm going out and getting my exercise that I needed because I haven't done this in two, three months, something like that. So. This is some good exercise for me. I'm already kind of tired, which kind of proves how out of shape I am at the moment. But vlogging on the hike and stuff makes it even more tiring for some reason. Okay, so I just remembered on this hike, there's a little pond, and I don't know how I haven't thought of this before, but there's a pond where it's like flat enough where I can actually get a super sick shot for this photo. So I think that's where I'm gonna go for this shot. That's gonna work perfectly because it's like, flat and there's like a lot of stuff around it so I think it'll be really cool to go to the pond up here it's super dirty and like green and stuff but I think it'll give it a really cool effect who knew it'd be this hot today dude I did not think it was gonna be this hot but whatever I'm tired though I didn't bring any water which kind of sucks this stairs here oh more tired than I thought it would be all right we're almost there though Let's get up these stairs and get going. So what I gotta do, I gotta wait for some shadows or like some clouds to come in, but I think I might just use this little shadowy part right here for the photo and just have it be in that because I think that might work unless I can make something else work. I might look around, see what else I could do, but I feel like having the little triangle thing in the pond, it might work best. So I'm gonna take a couple test shots, see how these come out and hopefully it comes out well, but that's just like part of it. You just gotta wait it out if there's so much sun or just take the photo and try to manipulate it in post to make it work. So if I can't get it to work, I think I might just manipulate it in post, but let's just continue this and try this out.
I think I can make that work. I don't know. Just trying it. But yeah. Okay, so my other camera died, which sucks. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that photo I just took, take it home, edit it, and all that stuff. And just take it because I don't think there's any more clouds coming in. I think it's going to be sunny the rest of the day, which does suck. But what can you do about it? That's how weather works. But other than that, what do you guys think about me doing vlogs? And so just photo vlogs in general, just like having normal vlogs just going about my day and whatnot. And it's just bring you guys along on my adventures or my daily life and stuff that I do outside of photography because I kind of want to start doing that some more. I used to do it a lot back in the day but haven't been doing it lately because obviously quarantine and also I just been focused on the whole photography aspect of YouTube I'm trying to do more of that but I want to do this and normal vlogs so let me know what you guys think about that in the comments and just let me know your thoughts but other than that let's go ahead go back to my house get these photos edited and see how they'll come out and yeah I'll just do it. These photos were a little different to edit just because I didn't have like a subject to work with. I just shot like a little open area and tried making it within that. Because in the original photo, I had a tree trunk. I had my friend Ian stand in front of it and all that stuff because I had a different photo idea and then that one came about and all that stuff. So that's how we're here. So these ones were a little bit more difficult to do and I will say like the first one that I've done that you guys saw earlier in this video a lot more than these two. But without further ado, let me show you the outcome of these. So. This one right here is a red triangle portal looking thing. It's a little open area within like the trees. And I decided to go like a light red on this one just because I wanted to give the look of contrastiness, I guess, is what I was going for. Then I took a paintbrush, got little particles in it, and I made it look like it was like glimmering or something like that, like shining little particles, like little fairy dust around it, or like, I just decided to give it a little magical feel to it. So yeah, I decided to put a beach in that little triangle, try to get it in there and try to make it work. I felt like it was a good contrast with the photo, so yeah. Um, anyways, moving on to the next one. But with this photo, I added more particles again to the outside of it and stuff like that to give it a little magic feel to it. So that's what I did. And in this one, I added the Milky Way. I feel like it was a good idea to have the day and night feel with it. So that's why I added the Milky Way to it. I feel like if I spent more time on this, I definitely could have gotten these photos to blend better and make it a lot better, but uh, that's just the outcome of these two. Other than that, if you guys did like this video, be sure to drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you guys are new with post notifications on so you don't miss a single upload. And remember to keep creating, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.